Hello and welcome back to the channel. So today I decided to make some war crimes against humanity because this thing is a breadboarded nuke and it's actually very customizable suicide vehicle, you know. It can also ram the enemy because I added a ram. But the most important thing of this um, vehicle is the way the nukes are placed. As you can see, they are placed in this pattern and when you place them in this pattern they do a lot of damage here i have the breadboard which controls when it has to dive down right it also tells the nukes when to explode right now it's 15 meters right but you can make it more or less however you like and here we has we, here we have a uh, dead fuse it's less than 20 percent uh, battery energy, so right now it's 160,000, so I think it's around 30, 30k, I think, I'm not sure. So this thing will ac actually explode, so if you know if you lose one and you don't know where it is, or it went haywire, it will explode. Uh, if you don't want it to explode, you can simply just remove this, and then you can like connect it here. Oh, this is wrong here, oops. And this, these are the nukes, I'm not sure what it says uh april 1st i think that was like something from the past but yeah this th these are the nukes and they basically activate when they see a one growing from here to here right they can either get a one from the from this uh sum here or from the trigger of the distance basically or the distance trigger so yeah, this thing is very devastating. It can do almost half a million damage. Sometimes it does more, sometimes it does less. Depends on, you know, how it hits. Also have a jet powered uh, version of this. So I will upload them both to my workshop. And I also have a Firestorm that has two of them, actually. They don't undock automatically. You have to undock them because I would need to breadboard that as well. But I mean... You know, just an example. So let's test this thing. Oh, and this thing can go underwater. Is this version can go underwater, right? So like if you have a submarine, uh, you can simply go to the breadboard here and be like, instead of doing 350, right? We can go, we can, we can do negative. What? Oh no, never mind. Not this one, uh, this one. Negative 100. And it will, should, should go underwater. Although I think there's something wrong with the, with the AI here, right? I think so. Yeah, you can see it. It's underwater now. No problem. You can make this thing a submarine as well. Uh, let's it back up here go up sir yeah this thing is really good very cheesy very cheaty uh, it's made out of alloy right now but you can you know add some armor here if you want right let's try it against a marauder right So let's follow it. Unfortunately, I don't want to put, you know, stuff for Rambot there. Because it's kind of useless. Right, so here we go. A little bit slow because the battery is getting depleted. And there you go. The breadboard is forcing it to dive down. I think it's gonna miss. Is it? Uh, it's gonna miss. It's gonna turn around soon. And I think I screwed up the AI. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I screwed up the AI there. Yeah. My god. What are you doing? Okay. Let's reset that. Uh, let's pull it here. Oh, it's going, it's going. 
Gonna slow down a little bit. I think it's good now. Yep. Oh, it's slowing down. Face to face with the Marauder. And... As you can see, it does pretty good damage. Still alive. Marauder is still alive. Didn't hit the perfect spot there, but you can see it's that's really good. Right, let's spawn a bunch of them here. They're only 15k, right? Almost 16k. But you can make them even cheaper, like if you put like a fuel, uh, fuel engine, yeah? You can easily make them cheaper. Uh, let's try again something bigger. Uh, let's try... Okay, try against a Kraken here. Let's see how it does. I don't think they have a chance against the Kraken. Let's see. Maybe they do. And here they go. Oh! Oh! Come on. Need to make the PID a bit better. Oh. One of them hit. Some good damage there. And that one did a huge amount of damage. 600k and more. And it's dead. And it is totally dead. We just used two of them. That is... That is so... That is so cheaty. <laughs> Let's try against uh, Plunderer as we are. I'm not gonna add more, let's see what happens. Plunderer has some good anti air defense. Oh! No idea. I think they're cancelling the ramming sometimes. Are you? Engage above, disable, below. And, oh, almost. They're very distracting as well. But if you have a bigger vehicle, right, and you use, uh, like, and you use them, basically, you can, like, deliver some really nasty blows to the enemy. You can see. Uh, this thing is half dead. Oh no, never mind. It's still okay. It's still okay. Oh, this one is damaged. And it's very damaged. Yeah, you can see j just one crippled him quite a lot. Try another one. But I might use these on my campaign. And I'll probably have like an airship which like builds them oh just three right oh that one got hit and not a very good not a very good hit there so two of them got the plunderer to 85 percent so i mean that's pretty good Let's try again something a bit or scary. Uh, let's spawn six of them. How about just six of them? So two of them is 30k, right? Uh, so six is 90k, yeah. 90k materials. That's six. Yes, they are. Okay. Okay, let's do a pedal gun. What happens. Pedal gun is very anti air, right? Oh, they're very, very, very far. They're coming close. Getting close. Uh, 
Oh, this guy's getting pummeled. Oh, 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 oh. And pedal gun is down. Is it? No. What's going down? Oh, they're getting confused because it's a smaller target. Okay, now it's down. Yep. So yeah, they're quite devastating. Um, let's spawn a couple more. Now remember, I have that ramming tip there, and that kind of helps me, like, borrow in the enemy's vehicle, right? And you can also, for example, remove the nukes and make like a driller. You can you can do a lot of stuff with this vehicle. Uh, so I want. Let's do an Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden. Quite fast, right? She does. And she has Sea Wiz, she has. Uh, some good APS cannons, actually. So they're coming from almost every angle here. Come on, come on. Oh, there we go. Ooh, oh my goodness. Come on. I think I made a small mistake. The pitch, right, is not on the very, very, very back of the vehicle. It's like three quarters of the way. So I think if I do do that, like change the pitch, uh, like position, it might do a little bit better, but I mean, right now it's a bit OP. Oop. Okay, so this is a Firestorm XSP. I already made a video on this thing. This thing is a plasma support a plane with cruise missiles and anti-air missiles. And uh, I attached two of these nukes, but these nukes actually have uh, jets instead of, you know, propeller and electric power. And they're quite devastating as well, because you've got this huge plane flying around, which provides support. Uh, you're going to see what it does. So, uh, uh, okay. As you can see, the crossbones is quite distracted right now by the cruise missiles and That's just one. Here comes the other one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And there it goes. And that's just two. So we just crippled the crossbones quite a bit with just two nukes. So you can imagine having like an airship and you're constantly building these guys and releasing them like uh, two at a time. Quite devastating. Let's uh let's uh, spawn some more here. And you can also like build a satellite and release them from from space. Why not? Maybe have like an ion engine. What happens? Okay, so the crossbones is starting to engage them. Not a very good hit there. Oh my goodness. Are you sure you're playing from the depths? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Oh no. But you can see it's uh, very devastating. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, episode. I didn't make it too long, right? 
And I'm going to put these guys or these fellas uh, on my uh, workshop. You're gonna have two. You're gonna have the nuke, uh, the nuke propeller version, and you're going to have the jet uh, version, which is the one I had on the firestorm. I actually have the, I probably have the firestorm as well there uh, on that platform. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So make sure to subscribe and like, and I'll see you next time.